Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, yeah, so smash that like button, you guys, if you enjoy my readings. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, let's get into your reading and see what messages are coming up for you. We're going into June. Love calls. Stabbed in the back. Whoa. What else? And you have the runner. Okay. Hmm. Damn. What is this? Someone expresses love, thinking of you, letting you know. Uh, and then they run away. Okay. Is that something currently you're dealing with? Um, the stabbed in the back. Hmm. What's going on? They separate. They got to go. They run. Um, this feels like somebody here, um, there's an energy of like love bombing and then dip it out. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, some, oh yeah, I see where this reading is going already. Okay. So, hmm. You're dealing with a very insecure, not very well person, Virgo. This is someone, um who, you know, they call, oh, I miss you, I'm thinking of you, sending love, expressing love, all that kind of stuff, and then they just, look, stabbed in the back, look at all these swords, and they just kind of, like, was, it leaves you, like, for real, were they real, did they mean that when they said all those things, when they called, um, that's how I feel like you're going to be feeling when you get a, when this, somebody calls you, okay, who is it, let's see, see if we can tell this person's very codependent very insecure um so do they actually stab you in the back like no but i feel like they run away then they disappear and that feels like deception that will feel like deception to you they listen to their ego there's a very strong insecurity oh okay aquarius vibes coming in hot aquarius this person's a fool, like kind of an idiot. <laughs> they do this, like look at them with the fool card. They just have no responsibilities. They don't care. They're just all over the place. All right, first court card, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could just be an energy of the person or it could be an actual sign. But it feels like um, they come in, they're coming in in this time period to connect Give the love, share the love, ha make the connection. They come in out of nowhere. This call, a love call of some sort comes in out of the blue. This person does not really reveal their feelings. They, they give just enough and then they run away is what it looks like to me. So they come in and make that connection and then they bolt, they disappear. <laughs> Why do they run? Let's take a look. Why is this person going to run away from Virgo? Why is this person going to run away? Oh, wow. Ace of Cups. Let's see. Well, all right, Virgo. I don't know what the deal is with them fully, as far as like a diagnosis goes. There's definitely like um, a, a victim thing that this person plays here. They run away because... They get what they need from you. They get this this love bomb. This not so much of a bomb, but they get that cup of love that they want. That's that's what they come in for. And then once they get it, they go. They feel fulfilled. Okay. Um, they want you to only keep your eye on them. Okay. I, you know what? Let me just tell you, Virgo, I just really overall with the way these cards are coming out and the messages I'm getting, I just feel that this person does not feel capable to be consistent in a love relationship. I feel at best they can be um, kind of friendly like or someone that can keep it kind of casual, but I don't feel like they have the depth or the ability to go deep in a love, a deep love partnership because there's some kind of an insecurity or usually with the ace of, uh, the eight of swords, this is generally, and look, in the five of cups and the five of swords, there is uncertainty. 
that surrounds this person. They're not certain about themselves. They like their freedom. They're inconsistent. Change is really like they need to make things. They can't. I'm, I'm like stumbling over my words. As soon as it gets serious, they need change. They need to run. They got to go. That's really what I feel like this person does. And then, and then they're sad when they run and when they go. It's like a shock. Like, what did they do? I feel like this person does not really know how to regulate their emotions or their feelings. They don't know how to regulate themselves. They get scared. They run. They're a bit avoidant in some ways. Yes. And then they, and then they hate that they did it. They hate, they hate that they've missed an opportunity or that something, you know, they come in just for enough love to get like um, their cup filled and then they go. Yeah. So you may be experiencing this person coming up in the month of June. You may know them. It could be a friend. It could be someone you're dating or will begin dating. Um, I feel like this is a little bit more predictive of what's to come. And I feel like for you, kind of keep your eyes and ears peeled with this person. Yeah, it's all aces. So everything's a potential, pretty much beginning initiation. Um, this person, I feel like is really good at getting up the courage to initiate something, but it takes real strength to maintain. Anybody can initiate. It's a one shot deal. You know, not that hard, but maintaining something day in, day out and doing the, the grudge work. There's always grudge work sometimes in a relationship. We Everybody knows that. Um, but when you love someone, it's really not grudge work. It's just you want to talk to them. You want to be with them. You want to spend time. You want to stay connected. You know, this person, as soon as it feels serious, they they're, they get excited over the new that's what I feel like the energy is. And then they leave and they go out searching for the ninth cup. Right? So they transition. Yeah, I don't know, Virgo. I, I feel like if you meet this person going forward, um, you might, it could be an Aquarius, uh, it could be Scorpio. You might want to, or if you already know them, you might want to just keep that in the back of your mind um, instead of trying to, you know, Maybe you might blame yourself for why they act this way. I don't feel like it's you. Let's take a look at you going forward here. Yeah, some of you are just going to block this energy. Mm, close off your emotions here. Put a lid on your, your cup there. Stop giving. Yeah, there you go. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like you're going <laughs> to... You're going to make that change. You're going to get in your car and speed away very fast. There's the wheel burn rubber. I feel Virgo, like once you realize this, that this, this, so listen, does this make this person a bad person? No, of course not. Um, is it in, in alignment with, if you're that Virgo, that's looking for a long-term consistent loving relationship with someone, um, this isn't the person. So if you're, if you're going to try to change them, to make them be that, that's not going to happen. Um, the only way it, I think that this person would even dare to go past the initial excitement of a relationship is if you don't want what you want. But if you're the Virgo that wants something more, um, no, not with this person. No. And I don't think it's a lack of desire. I, it feels more like a lack of capability, you know, um, and so you'll probably come to terms with that. Maybe you'll realize that. You just can't be with a runner, someone that's constantly running away. Yeah, look at, you got temperance, so you will bring things into balance. Um, this is not some kind of reading where I feel like, oh, it's a miracle, they're gonna change. No, this this feels like who they are. They, they like the love, the affection, they like to talk to you, they like you to love them, um, they enjoy that. If you want something more, I don't feel like it's going to go that way. Um, I just don't, you know. Um, now, obviously, this isn't the same as yesterday's reading. This is completely different. So this might resonate for a different group of people. I just don't feel like, um, I, I feel like it's you just kind of looking at something for what it is, like seeing this person's behavior for what it is. Don't own 
you know there's the stabbed in the back kind of feeling if you've been like if you've already been dealing with this person virgo and they have been um doing this for a while and telling you that they love you that they miss you and all this stuff and then getting yourself confused well, why do they keep running away it's because they don't really deep down this is just affection this is flirting this is enjoying like this the the skin of the cream <laughs> i just don't even know what the hell that means just taking whatever off the top you know this is what this means so i feel like virgo i hope you didn't turn around and say you needed to change your ways to be a people pleaser or to be codependent yourself or to try to get this person to do things to make them love you more no you don't have to do that if you've been doing that stop please just be you not everybody who tells you that they love you and they have affection for you or that they're attracted to you is going to be your person do you know what i mean some people just feel the way they feel and that's how they feel now if this you feel like this person has um done one of those situations where they've opened up your heart to love you um and then never followed through with it it's best to cut it off okay just be done with it you know the temperance makes me feel like having like a, a moderate view of the situation you know looking at both sides you know counterbalancing each thing you know what is really going on here i just feel like there's an immaturity when i see the fool and so when i say immaturity that relates to someone who's incapable it's like asking a four-year-old to get married and have children and you know build a house and no they're not capable of doing that so you've got someone here who's a bit immature okay okay <laughs> yes could be sad i don't like to call the signs out when we're calling somebody immature because maybe it's not fair you know who your person is i called out some signs already i feel like for you once you realize that you know what you, you shouldn't have to work that hard for somebody's love you should never have to work hard for someone's love, right? Two people just love each other. Love is freedom. You know, love is love is just loving each other. That's it. We, we don't have to change who we are, be better, or be anything. When we just love someone, we're, we're just giving that love to them because we care, right? So here you go. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. Now, I know this isn't going to be for everybody. And I know a lot of people listen to the readings and they want rainbows and Skittles and all kinds of amazing tasty gems here but sometimes we need to keep it real i feel like this reading is more so to just tell you there's a better love or a newer love out there for you um if you want to stay with this person and keep it going you have the every right to do that but i feel like give yourself a break um if this person's just coming in and out then just take it for what it is right if they're just trying to get the love from you so what you know just it is what it is keep your Keep your eyes focused on the future. There is an opportunity for new love or a recommitment to love, maybe from someone that you've lost in the past. For some of you, you might have gotten into some kind of a rebound relationship, or this person did. This could be a rebound. Virgo, play hard. Live your life. Love your life. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. When I see each other, sometimes I, I feel like I need to, like, I have to explain every little thing some people show up in my comments i'm just like really you just don't get that <laughs> why don't you get it why don't you understand when i say find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other somebody listens to that and they'll say but you just told me that this person no and you can enjoy each other you and your friends you and your other people you and your soul tribe it doesn't have to be with this person right and that's what i'm talking about listen to the context surrounding the message always always listen again practice listening in its entirety not just the words not just the little pinpoint things listen to the entire message put the whole thing in perspective you've got healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting and wait timing is not quite right 
your true love is already a part of your life some of you need to just step back and take a look you're wasting some of you might be wasting your time giving all your effort putting all your energy into someone um, who's just not into you as you are to them and in the meantime you've got someone in your circle or someone near you who's actually your real true love so step back read the room virgo look and see what else is going on in your life you know this doesn't have to be the only person kind of like back off a little bit here with this person because some of you not all i'm not calling anybody out but some of you might be trying to turn um this little molehill into a mountain and it ain't never going to be a mountain virgo it ain't never going to be a mountain it is a molehill it might even be a mole living under the ground so <laughs> It's okay. You just lower your expectations with this person and then you won't be disappointed. Oh, they just said get the features card. Let's see, who is this? Who is this mole? Who is this mole hill? What do they look like? All right, they got freckles. You might recognize them by their freckles. Medium length hair. I haven't done these in a while. They may have a mustache black hair hold on all right we have brown eyes oh sunglass or glasses and a mohawk oh that's an interesting look okay let's see anything else and someone is tattooed and has a beard could have a beard and also be very tall okay take that as it resonates all right let's move on to hmm let's get into the Chinese signs let's take a look and see and I'm gonna just look at you Virgo your Chinese sign show me Virgo's Chinese sign all right year of the pig year of the rooster year of the rabbit <clears throat> year of the ox year of the horse and year of the dragon okay so if that resonates for you that's a very strong message that that there is for you all right we have the letter y the letter d the letter Z, initial Z, initial S, initial Q, and uh, initial O. Someone's 32, August 27th. We have double Leo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Someone's 49. It's December, significant month, 1989, 1986. Someone is 50. Uh, someone's 41, August 31st. Okay, we have the letter F, initial F, 1971, initial E, we have I and M. Okay, South Dakota, I just heard. Hmm, New Zealand. Uh, 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 uh. Finland, hmm. Now we're getting into some uh, other countries. Picking up real strong South Dakota vibes. What's going on? They just keep bringing me back to South Dakota. All right. This reading is really short today, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, so... Um, I'm picking up a very important government building that feels that's giving me government building vibes presidential um, there's something happening with a government building there's some kind of connection something to do with um, uh, a government building I don't know what 
country. Uh, could be Russia, could be France, could be in the U.S., um, or it could be somewhere in the Middle East. There's something with a government building that's going to be very profound in the month of June, for sure. And there's something also here to do with dolphins, two dolphins. That's a very protective nature, I feel. Uh, so, dolphins, protection. They're saying protection, angel. Oh. Is that what I think it is? Hold on. I feel like that must be an octopus. Does that look like an octopus, you guys? With a weird, weird looking smile. <laughs> it's like an octopus, yes. But this, so, this octopus has, um, what looks to be like spots on it. It has spots on it. A spotted octopus or a leopard octopus? I don't know what the hell that means. So I'm going to let you tell me. Something to do with a spotted octopus. It could be a new species that's found. We do have some ocean stuff going on here. Maybe you'll see an octopus like washed up ashore and it has sand all over it that's what I feel like that's coming through to me here um okay is there anything else we need for Virgo any other charms okay so you do have love I love that <laughs> I love that yes you do have love I feel like Virgo listen Open yourself up to new love opportunities. That's what I really feel like the message is here. Um, don't try to change someone into something that they are not. See people for what who they are, for what they are. Um, like I said, somebody can love you and have affection for you, but they, that doesn't mean that you're the one for them. Let me just say this before I end. When someone is truly the one for you, you will never, ever have any doubt ever trust me on that when the one for you comes shows up in your life you will feel like a queen or a king you will never ever have doubt right because that's a blessing that's a blessing that comes in so if you have any doubt about this person this is not your person and you might have just fooled yourself into thinking that they were, because why? Maybe you needed the love and affection or whatever they were giving to you in order to get for themselves. Sometimes you just, look, cut it off so you can move on and find the person that's going to love you right and it's going to love you fully. Everybody deserves that, right? So I feel like this is the message here for today. Probably not the most positive message, but it's the truest. So I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> and leave it be. Come back tomorrow. Hopefully there will be a little bit something better, but we're touching on whatever we're touching on here. So thank you everyone for being in the chat. Thank you to the moderators, Melly, Persephone, Steve-O, everyone that shows up here every week. I'm super grateful. Jason, I don't know what happened to Steve B. I haven't seen him in a while. So if anybody knows, please send me a message. Let me know how he's doing. And yeah, I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.